Something I do is I play a game in my head, I play a game called Connections. And Connections is really simple. Connections means when I meet somebody, if I meet you for the first time tonight, um, chances are I'm thinking about two or three other people that I know that you would be useful contacts for or who would be useful contacts for you. Now, if I'm able to connect you to those people mentally, some of you, I may have, I may have spoken to some of you in there tonight and think, oh, you need to talk to John. And I introduce you to John. Um, Samir I introduced. I've met Samir tonight. Um, Samir is a number two ranked badminton player in the Sri Lankan badminton squad and he's heading towards the Olympics. So that's the first time I've met him tonight but I introduced Samir to Steve and Samir is looking for sponsorship and Steve says I know somebody who might be able to help you. Wow, how simple was that? How did I meet Samir? Because a friend of mine introduced Samir to me because he thought I might be able to help him with some sponsorship because we do promotional merchandise. That's it. It's just connections. You think about people you can connect to. But if you think on top of your shoulders, you carry a computer with you, and I'm stealing this phrase from somebody else, you carry a necktop computer with you wherever you go. You've got a necktop computer, and you've got the power within that to get a, a storage and retrieval system for all your contacts. You don't need to carry all your business card boxes. You don't necessarily need to have it in your phone. If you've got that, then great, but it's not critical. The better you become at the mental connections, the better it will be. Because if you go to big events, you can't be there all the time sticking numbers into your phone. You need to be more flexible and just thinking and remembering. But the more adept you become at this, the easier it will be for you in the longer term. <laughs>